Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to make my baby a graduation stole. This is my first time, so I'm so excited he is graduating from kindergarten. So stay tuned, you all. So I purchased this graduation stole from the blank spot. The information will be in the description below, but I don't know. I just had to make me like a little diagram thing. I know it's too long. It's 60 inches long. So if you look at my little visual, I have, since it's 60 inches, of course, when you fold it in half, it's 30 inches each side. So the little triangle part was like two inches, and then the longer part is 28. So of course, 28 and two gives us our 30. So that's how I planned everything. I didn't have a template, but I knew that I was using 11 by 17 inch um, sublimation paper. Okay, so you all that know me, um, you know I'm not an expert with you know designs and stuff. So I use Canva because it makes me feel like an expert. <laughs> so that's the best feeling. Feeling like you're a pro in your area. It just gives you so much confidence. So remember that on the stole is 30 inches per side. So that's approximately, we're gonna do 28 inches long with the rectangle and then the two inches for the triangle shape. So remember that the paper that I'm using is 11 by 17, so I'm taking that into account. The rectangular shape will be five inches for the width and 16 for the length on sheet one. And then I'm gonna duplicate that. So inch. remember now on page two, the only thing that we have to do um, since we used the 16 inches already, we're gonna add 12 more inches for that one. So page two, the rest of the sole will be five inches for the width and 12 for the length. And then we're gonna run into, we're gonna start off with the triangles at the bottom. Now you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So for page one, you know that the length is 16. And on page two, you know that the rectangle length is 12. So that's our 28 inches. Then we added the two inches for the triangle. That gave us 30 inches. So now we have our 30 inches for each now side. Now it's time to edit and you can use whatever colors you want. It's just so simple. Like if you click it, you can just do, you see the edit button, you can change and switch up the colors. Um, and then you can begin uploading. As you can see, I'm cropping out the picture. I think I'm gonna toss my husband out, leave my boogaboo, put him in, love my husband. But this is all about our car to boo. Look how cool he's trying to be, like he the man. So we're gonna remove the background. Look how clean it does. It's just, it's just a simple program <laughs> that helps me with all of my editing. Um, I haven't mastered anything else but Canva. So I think I'm going to be quiet for a while because this part is kind of self-explanatory and you guys just edit it just the way you feel you should edit, do your own thing, and be as crafty as you can be. So just keep playing around with your images, with the positioning, as well as the sizing. Um, also, um, I also use the transparency um, button and I can edit that and I don't try to take out too much, like maybe 80, 90. Um, at that amount, you can still kind of see the pictures kind of blend into and it just it just gives it a nice little edge to your um to your stole. So I edited um the school model and also just a little quote that I found online that I thought was cool. Um I did it the same process as the other pictures, uploading, inserting the text as well as the image. Um, now, so that's the top half of our stole. That's all done. Um, also, I, sorry, I just added in effects and I kind of wanted the the um, wording to stand out. So I did like a neon type thing and adjusted the intensity as needed. Okay, we're starting on the bottom left and right side of our stoles on page two. And again, this is free for you to do it any way you please, but I'm going to go on the left-hand panel to elements and I'm going to find a number frame. So I'm just typing in frame and I'm going to put the school year. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm putting 2022. Um, I'm just altering everything. We want to make sure that we edit the coloring. So I'm going to use like a gold foil looking color. Alrighty, so we have our letters together in the position that's okay, but we're gonna try to make it tidy it up a little bit so it can be exactly in the middle and get it nice and neat. And then I can put the other part of the stole back in place. So this is another neat trick I learned from Jay Stewart's laboratory. So if you go to elements and type in gold foil, you can get that cute um, crisp gold color for your numbers or letters or whatever you wanna use it for. And you drag that color into the frame, the number frame that you're using or the letter frame that you're using. So now we're gonna head over to the text feature and I'm just gonna put in the text that I want. So I'm gonna put class of, and then I'm gonna find the font that I want. I'm looking for a nice cursive font that we can use for this stole. So I'm just gonna review a few and choose the one that I like the best. So you all, I kind of lost some footage, but as you can see, I just um, kind of positioned everything where I want it to be. Now I'm bringing in another picture and I'm going to do the same process. I'm gonna edit image and remove that background. And then again, you're gonna just um, edit the sizing and positioning to what you see is fit for your um, stole. I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to skip over some parts, but it's basically I'm uploading pictures, I'm editing it, I'm using the transparency feature um, just to make certain pictures kind of pop out um, in front of other pictures. Like I have his baby picture and I kind of um, reduced the transparency and then I have his picture with him, you know, from last school year. So that's how I'm kind of going about with the pictures. So from this part on, you can kind of just watch and see some of the things that I'm doing just to give you some ideas on how to create your own stole. Well, I'm pleased with how it looks overall. I'm going to click the right um, button that says share and go to download. So the hardest part is over. And now we just print out our images that we created. Make sure we have our stoles and use the lint brush to get any type of debris or lint off of the stole. And now I'm just cutting everything down to size. And we're going to tape it together with our heat tape and apply it to our stoles. Now we're gonna heat press for 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Um, there were some areas where you can see the line, a white line going through my stole. And I suggest using a ram board next time. But overall, I love the way everything turned out. And thanks for watching you all. Happy crafting.